All right. So now it's time to report on our campaigns. Let's dive into our Trailhead Playground. So we are on the marketing app here. If I go back to campaign so we can continue where we left off from the previous video. Let's report on the big sale here. The big sale. We have a campaign which is a child campaign from the Evans Lake field trip. Remember, if I do a quick refresher, if I go click here, the bake sale, and we can see the hierarchy, remember? So we have the main campaign, which is the Evans Lake field trip. Now I can drag this like that. And then we have the parent initiated events or the students initiated events. So we want to know the effectiveness of the bake sale, right? So we can do that using reports. Now, on the playground, not on the playground, on the trailhead, it's talking about out-of-the-box campaign reports. But this is a newly created playground, and we don't have that anymore. So if I go to reports tab here, to report on campaign, we don't have the out-of-the-box campaign report that the trailhead was referring to on this particular trail. Maybe this is an older trail. Now they don't uh, have that anymore. So if I go to folders, this is all the folder we have and I don't see campaign folder or campaign reports. And if I go to all reports, I don't see any campaign here. So just the nonprofit starter pack, which is a totally different subject. So I'm going to just create a new one. So no big deal. Okay. So on the uh, trailhead here, we are uh, referred to the out of the box campaign reports where you can find it in the um, campaign folder, but we don't have that in our playground. So I'm not sure if you have that or you will have that um, in the future, but this is a freshly created trailhead playground and I don't see that. So we are going to create a new report, which is even better for you. So we can practice making a new report for the campaign, the effectiveness of the campaign. So let's make a new report. Make a new report. So what uh, object are we going to report? I'm going to report on the campaign member. Okay. So if I, if I search campaign, so we have a bunch there campaigns. This is the, the, the object, right? I want the one I want the one with, with campaign members. Campaigns with campaign members. Because then we will see the responses. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this and continue. Now bake sale. It already knew. So if I go to the filter here, my active campaign, you can you can change this. So if you if, if I say all active or all active campaigns, and then I'm gonna also filter the campaign name. Okay, the campaign name is um, contains. For example, I just wanna bake the bake one. Contains the word bake and apply. And I'm gonna to toggle this on update preview automatically. So we can see the preview on the right side there. Okay, so basically we are we are wanting to see the campaign, the bake campaign, and here. And what columns do we have here right now? Let's get rid of um, this whole bunch of stuff we don't need. So I'm gonna take this out. Take this out. Take this out. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need this. Oh, we need that responded. Because I want to know if they have responded or not, right? Uh, owner. Well, let's just go with that and I'm going to run. So now we have a little, just a little sample data, just three, right? 
So you can see um, two of those has responded, right? And what are their statuses here? Baker, this is hasn't responded yet, and buyer. So you can create a report based of these uh, campaign members. For example, if I edit this again and I want to group it now, let's group by the status, okay? Uh, campaign member status, member status there. Now we can see how many um, responded and I want to add some chart there. Let's make it a pie chart as well. I like or a donut chart there, okay? Like that, I'm, I'm going to keep that and just run for now. I don't want to save it. So, some of responded, uh, one maker, one buyer. See, that's helpful. Well, if you have 10,000 records or 10,000 responses, you can see all the breakdowns based on the statuses, right? And then you can also break down however you want to break it down, right? Um, depending of what column you want to break it down. So for example, if you have um, address and you want to see uh, which parents live in this neighborhood, which parents live in that neighborhood, or when are they, they are going to come, and stuff like that, you can be creative and create the reports uh, yourself. So that's basically how you can report on campaigns and the effectiveness of each campaign. Pain. So that's it. I'm going to go back to reports here. That's just a really, really simple example. Just hitting the surface there. You can go deep on your own, all right? Because reports, you can just be creative and create all a bunch and all kinds of reports you can do. Let's do the quiz now. Where can you find the built in campaign reports? We cannot find it, Mr. Trailhead. A creator because we don't see it now in my trailhead playground but if we do it's supposed to be on the campaign folder on the reports tab which we don't see right now what kind of information can you see with the built-in campaign rep uh, reports probably this who has responded to each campaign like we just did who has responded right to each campaign so with that, we have concluded our campaign basics. Remember, this is just the basics. You can go deeper and be creative with what you can track and how deep you want to track everything that you are doing with your marketing campaign and stuff. So this is just the basics. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo. Shiny new badge on our profile hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom